So it's great to be here. We're talking about the diabetic foot ulcer today, and we're going to go over some etiology and manifestations on the diabetic foot. So if we look at the diabetes in and of itself, it's the fastest growing disease in the United States. We're looking at this being not just an epidemic, but a pandemic of unbelievable proportions. We look at diabetes and we see the diagnosis among adults, especially the age-adjusted percentage comparison between 2000 and 2010. And you can see on the right here where we have that scale of increase in the prevalence and incidence of diabetes throughout the country. And you can see that it's more concentrated on the East Coast rather than the West Coast. This doesn't even take into account the actual pre-diabetes prevalence that we're seeing. And if you look at the approximate number of people that are diagnosed with diabetes, 4,110 people a day diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. It's pretty incredible and that's why we're here talking about the diabetic foot and the ulcers and manifestations. So let's look at some statistics on diabetic foot and the diabetic foot ulcer risk. When we look at the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, we can see that as of September 2011, we have an estimate of 16 million Americans who are known to have diabetes with many more at risk. Again, thinking about prediabetes with this. The diabetic foot lesions are responsible for more than uh, the hospitalizations and any other complications of diabetes. So looking at how diabetes really impacts the, the body, the systems, and then realizing that the diabetic foot and the ulcers that arise from the diabetic foot being the high risk of com complications and hospitalizations is pretty just uh, you know, unbelievable and something that we really need to take note on. So about 15% of individuals will develop a foot ulcer, and when we look at that, 12 to 24% of these individuals with a foot ulcer require amputations. It's something that we're going to digress and talk about um, throughout this lecture. When we look at diabetes being the leading cause of non-traumatic lower extremity amputations in the United States, this is really one of the pearls and takeaway points for you to really just kind of digest. So diabetes is the leading cause of non-traumatic lower extremity amputations in the United States. 